Hello friend, in this video we will discuss some design guideline for the sheet metal component design. So before going to start working on the sheet metal component, we need to follow some guideline for designing the sheet metal component so that it will easy to manufacture and reduces the time to manufacture the component. The sheet metal is nothing but the forming process that we form the sheet with the help of cutting and forming operation. The thickness of the sheet varies from 0.15 mm to 6.35 mm. We can call it as a sheet metal and less than 0.15 mm sheet. We can call it as a foil and greater than 6.35. We can call it as a plate. Let us discuss some important parameters consist of thickness, bending radius, bending angle and bending allowance. These are the important parameters in the sheet metal component. The sheet metal component is known for their durability which makes them great for the end use application. The sheet metal component are used in chassis, bracket design, outer covering design and outer body design. These are some application. Sheet metal components are widely used in the industry. Now we will discuss some design guideline while working on the sheet metal component. First one we have the material thickness. We require the uniform wall thickness throughout the sheet. For the bending radius, the bending radius is must be greater than or equal to the th material thickness and it is recommended to use the same radius across the all bend. Next one we have the bending angle. What does mean by spring back? While bending the sheet, some residual stresses are developed and these residual stresses cause the sheet to spring back slightly after the bending operation. So due to that elastic recovery, it necessary it necessary to over bend the sheet to precise amount to achieve the desired bend radius and bend angle. While bending the sheet, we need to consider that spring back effect. For that, we are giving 1 degree tolerance on all bend. So for that, we are giving 1 degree tolerance on all all bend angle. It is generally accepted in the industry and the flange length must be 4 times the material thickness. Spring back depends upon the material, bending operation, bend angle and the bend radius. So next one we have the bend height. The bend height must be greater than or equal to 2 times thickness plus radius. If the bend radius is too small, it will result in the deformation and low bending quality. Next one we have the bending relief. In the figure you can see that if you directly bend, it will tear the material. So bend 1 is tear here. Bend 2, here we are giving the rectangular relief. So that's why it is in smooth. The relief need to be added there to prevent the tearing of material. The depth of relief must be greater than the radius of the bend and less than the radius plus thickness and the width of the relief is greater than or equal to the material thickness. We are giving the relief, we need to consider these things. Next one is a important factor here, the K factor is very important in the sheet metal design. The K factor is used to calculate the flat pattern because it is related with uh, how much we are stretching the material during the bending. The value of the K factor is generally varies from 0 to 0.5. The K factor is, is a constant term and it is the ratio of location of neutral axis to the material thickness. The K factor it depends on the material, bending operation, bending angle and the bending radius. In industry, we use K factor from 0.25 to 0.5. Here is the K factor chart for the soft, medium and hard material like aluminium, steel, medium steel and the stainless steel in operation air bending and bottom bending. So here in a figure you can see that for the air bending some gap in between die and the workpiece and in the bottom bending there is no gap here complete pressing next one we have the minimum distance of hole from the bend if you made a hole too close with the edge material may deform so to save the cost of punching on drilling operations so we need to consider two time thickness plus radius next one we have minimum distance from the extruded hole to the part edge if you create a hole 
nearest to the edge the edge will be tear or it will deform so minimum distance need to be greater than or equal to 3 times thickness if the extruded hole are too close it can lead to a metal deformation so the minimum distance between extruded hole will be 6 times thickness so here is the minimum hole diameter small hole size in a sheet metal required a smaller size punching which may lead to break during the operation so the minimum hole diameter must be greater than or equal to the thickness let discuss some curl feature guideline the curl feature is added to the edge of the sheet it will provide strength the curl are mostly used to remove the sharp and untreated edges the outside radius of the curl should be greater than or equal to 2 times thickness and size of that hole is greater than or equal to curl radius plus thickness and the bend is greater than or equal to the curl radius plus 6 times thickness hem feature guidelines there are two types of hem open hem and the tear drop hem tolerance of hem is dependent upon the hem radius and the material thickness and the feature near to them heming is nothing but to fold the metal back on itself heming is used to stiffen the edge the hem is used to remove the sharp untreated edges for safe handling and hide the imperfection and provide the general safer edge to handle for tear drop hem the inside diameter should be equal to the thickness for open hem the bend will lose its roundness when inside diameter is greater than the sheet metal thickness so the inside diameter must be less than the material thickness the minimum distance between the inside edge of the bend and the outside outside of hem should be 5 times the material thickness plus the bend radius plus hem radius so this will be the formula for the minimum distance between the inside edge of the bend so here you can see the minimum distance is required as shown in figure let's discuss a notch feature guidelines some recommendation for the notch features are the width should not be narrow narrower than 1.5 times thickness and the length of notch up to 5 times thickness and corner radius of notches should be 0.5 thickness minimum distance between two notches should be 2 times thickness minimum distance between notch and hole should be 1.2 thickness the clearance in the notches the notches must be at least 3.175 mm away from each other and for a bend the notches must must be at least 3 times material thickness plus the bending radius tab must have minimum distance from each other of 1 mm or material thickness whichever is the greater so the the, the tab is nothing but the protrusion from the edge of the sheet metal part is nothing but the tab the corner radius is used to provide the smooth finish and the, to avoid some sharp corner to make him easier to handle the fillet is usually designed to be half of the material thickness and embossment are small shallow form projection on the surface of the stamp pad during this operation the stretching is the main deformation mode resulting in the high tension so thereby the material is subjected to excessive thinning or fracturing so the depth of emboss feature is restricted by material thickness and ability to stretch in a addition addition to the emboss geometry so here the material thickness plays a very important role and the depth of emboss feature the maximum depth of embossment should be less than the 3 times thickness generally we are working on the sheet metal component so we are punching the some operation or some features on the sheet so it will form that shape so at that time the depth of that embossment is very important so it should be less than 3 times thickness so here we have cover some 
design guideline for the sheet metal component if this video helps you in your knowledge please like share and subscribe the channel